guys, uh, welcome back to Let's Play Gothic. So in the last episode, a man, he finally learned how to do, you know, um, how to take monster's claws. And he's finally in the Valley of the Mines, but it's daytime because, you know, I went, I actually went back to learn how to take claws. So yeah, I lost some uh, night hours. Duh. So yeah, that's what happened. See, uh, there's nothing with a tree stump, so... But there's a bunch of wolves. Oh, lovely. I want your hides. Oh, not you. I want you. Uh, come on. Come over here. Get my... Oh, autograph. <laughs> uh, I guess he got my autograph. Maybe. But yeah, um... So this place, what did I miss? Oh yeah, well there's a bunch of orcs that way. So definitely be careful and not to attract them towards me at all. Oh hey, I missed you I guess. I don't hear anyone else. <laughs> uh, did I miss a herb? No, that's just the texture. Or rather a mesh with the texture. Anything else over yonder? Nope. Ah, well, look. I see what the... What did Jurgen called it? Palisade? I think it's a palisade? No? Yes? Maybe? And... Okay, I did not miss anything over here, so good for me. Okay, so we did reach the other side of the castle. Thank God. <laughs> um... Let me see. There's a bunch of orcs, so I'll definitely have to run somehow. Oh wait, no, that thing is a palisade, I think. It, or maybe I'm or maybe I'm confusing words. Yeah, I probably am. Palisade is either like the wall or the thingy you use to invade castles. Or like buildings. For siege. Oh, I'm too close. Duh. <laughs> Okay, so I do scavenge, I mean I did scavenge a bit around me. Oh wow, there's so many orcs over there. Okay, so best bet. I see an orc over there. Another one over there. There should be an orc commander nearby as well, if I remember. I can easily use a speed potion for this. Or I can actually transform and then re-transform. Oh, actually, that's a like, brilliant. I can be like a scavenger and just like fly in there. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Why not? Why why not test it out? I'll be a scavenger. Actually, I don't know who's faster. Actually, who's more? Who's less harmless? I have. Yeah, let's become a wolf. I have a bunch of these. Oh, I don't have mana. Well, whoopsie. I'm not doing that then. If I can survive their attacks. Oh boy. <gasps> oh boy. Ah! Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay, good. I survived. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, they don't approach the palisade. So if you're a mage, you can freely fire magic from here. Ugh. This is so nerve-wracking. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> I'm on the verge of death, so I'll need a healer. Okay, hey! Paladins, you're alive! Totally alive. Okay, maybe in the cutscene there were militia guys and- Wait, no! Wait, no, I was right. In the cutscene, they were the, the old camp guards because the old camp guards don't have the checkered pattern uniforms. They have just red uniforms. That it wasn't the poltrons, it was the uniforms. Gosh darn it. Ugh. Me and my stupid language. Okay, so we found the first guy. Anyway. First guy over here named Udar. You were damn lucky when you came in. I very nearly shot you. Then I guess I should be glad that you have such keen eyesight. Save your breath. Talk to Sengrath if you want something. Yeah, I wanna talk to you. And, uh... <laughs> I mean, I guess I can steal your purse. Eh, hey, what the heck not, I'll take it. 
Thank you! How are things in the castle? A few of the boys are practicing, but in principle, we're all just waiting for something to happen. This uncertainty is wearing us down. That's the strategy of those blasted orcs. They'll wait until our nerves are shot. Mm. Or until you starve yourselves. That could be also a possible strategy. I knew it. I knew that someone would succeed. Have you come over the pass? Our messenger managed to get through then. No, your messenger didn't make it across the pass. I have come by order of Lord Hagen. The cursed orcs? Well, Commander Garand will certainly want to speak to you. You'll find him in the large building guarded by two knights. Where can I find gear here? Tandor hands out the weapons. Engor, the steward, is responsible for everything else. What about magic supplies? We are equipped with spell scrolls. If you want some of them, let me know. Okay, good. So if I need magic, it's available to me. Good. Who can teach me something here? Ask Karoloth. He trains the boys in sword fighting. Maybe he'll teach you something too. Show me your spell scrolls. Hmm, what do you have? You have ice block, which is useful. Belt of strength. Wow, it's much better than my belt of strength. <gasps> oh, yes, yes, I'm buying goblin berries. They're no longer yours. Forget about them. They're mine. But this thing is also pretty good. Oh, belt of strength. It means I could do better melee damage instead of one. Oh, but I'll have to see about that. Oh. It's so much gold, though. No, 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 no. Abstain. Abstain from this. And uh, I'll take your purse. Thanks. I need experience, so yeah. <laughs> oh. I don't like the paladin, most of the paladins anyway. I mean, he's not bad, but... You train people? Yeah, once those orcs are even worse, the dragons attack again. Every single hand will be needed. Or, you know, actually, come to think of it, since he mentioned the dragon attacks attacking again, uh, maybe that cutscene wasn't the old camp being decimated, but maybe, like, for some damn reason, they used the texture from Gothic 1 for the uniforms. I don't know why they would, but maybe that's what happened? <laughs> Can you train me too? Sure. I'll train any good man. But besides your talent, you need a good weapon if you want to survive here. Ask the knight Tandor. He'll take care of you. You know, I'm regretting of stealing the purse from Syngrath or Syngarth. I, for I forget the, s the correct spelling of his name already. Yeah, maybe I should not have stolen it. He was nice enough and I just stole stuff. Uh... On the other hand, I did buy Goblin Berries. Hey, he's not poor. <laughs> what about long-range combat? What about it? Can you teach me that too? No, but you can ask Udar. He's a good... No, he's the best crossbow man I know. Oh. Well, if you say so, I'm gonna go visit him right now. <laughs> and uh, you'll see why, and it's actually interesting. <laughs> to say the least. Hey, you... Well, yeah, that's how you address. <laughs> yeah, this is why it's interesting. So man says, I heard that you're the best crossbowman. I heard that you are the best crossbowman far and wide. If they say so, it must be true. What do you want? And then he says, I am the greatest. <laughs> I am the greatest. <laughs> you're all right. Well, if you want to learn, then I'll help you. Yeah, now he agrees to teach me because I, because I said I am the best. <laughs> I, I, I don't get the logic of it. I think he's just, he just wants humor in his life. Maybe that's what happened. <laughs> I want to learn from you. Okay, far away. But yeah, he only teaches crossbow, so you're useless. Go away. <laughs> oh no, you're useful to the paladins, just not to me. Ooh. Ooh, they have a door in here. I don't know where it leads, but I certainly want to find out. Now we have this guy called Tandor. You came over the pass? Well done. We have already lost a lot of men out there. I know myself what it's like out there. I accompanied a reconnaissance unit for a while. Do you have a weapon? If you need a good weapon, I'm your man. 
Dude, I have the best weapon right now for one-handed dexterity fighting. <laughs> so what are you talking about? <laughs> what became of the unit? We scouted the area and wanted to advance to the coast. We set up our camp in a cave. It was late at night when the orcs came. They charged us up the slope with torches and drums and discovered us. We tried to flee, but I was the only one who got through. Soon after that, the orcs erected their big palisade and we pulled back into the castle. Oh, jeez, that sucks, dude. Show me your wares. I see. Ooh, he has a dragon slicer. Uh, he's best for... Oh, well, he has an oak bow. An elm bow. Ash bow. I already have ash bow. Sorry. Amulet of ore skin. Which is good for every single kind of protection. Arrow, magic, fire, and weapon. Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. I agree. Um, he also has, yeah, really good um, strength-based weapons. So if you guys need that, they're here. Plus some crossbows, like heavy crossbow, war crossbow, yabba yeah, yeah, and healing root. Um, I do want to get some of your ammo, though. Just to have, like, there. Oh, 311. It's going to be odd number, I know. Uh, okay, so a poker. I don't need that. Okay, this is my ash bow, so like, get off my case. Um, I don't remember where I got the fine sword from. Probably the paladin. Um, take this. Oh yeah, uh, take the crossbow. I don't need it. Let's see, anything else I can sell to you for a good sum of money? Oh right, I have bunch of teeth. There you go, they're yours. And I am super rich all of a sudden. <laughs> um, I'll keep one skeleton bone. Just because I can. Oh yeah, I still have the focus stone as well. Um, and... Okay, you can take lurker claws. You can take those claws. Yeah, I'm filthy rich now. Oh, and I have a bunch of leather bags. I forgot. I have a bag full of gold coins. That's uh, a unique description of that item. I also have a gold ring can take it. I also have a silver dish, a silver candlestick. I think that's it, right? Yeah, I think so. Goodbye. Not gonna steal from you. I have very standards of stealing from people. I, I get it. <laughs> uh, oh, there's something over there. That's not what I, heard. I don't know what it looks like, but... Nobody ever asked looks like bones that were picked clean. So I guess um, they ate around here? It will never open, he says. I'm in enough trouble. Well, that was easy. I found two fish and two gold pieces. But that chest will never open? That's a really weird description. I'm not telling you anything new. Also, another interesting thing is, do you recognize this building? From the first gothic, this is where the farming just used to be. So now I wonder who's in here. And I do want to go upstairs, over here. So over here we have a room table, an alchemist's um, bench. We have skulls with candles for some damn reason. And I see a bunch of herbs, like dry herbs. Oh, oh I never noticed this. There's a cross, like as a ceiling uh, fixture. That's interesting. Okay, there's a chest. Oh, there is a rune. Let me guess, it's a teleportation rune. Yes, it is, to the castle. So, the easy way now for any of you, if, if you don't want to deal with the orcs, is to teleport. So far, we're only getting runes of teleportations for the Valley of the Mines, but in the next ch chapter, actually, uh, you're able to get more runes to use uh, in Carinus. So that's also... Um, Really makes your travel much easier. Uh, okay, so we see... Oh, this is from Caristo. Um, if you do not know, Caristo, he was the head of the fire mages at this building um, in the colony. So it's his journal, apparently. I forget what kind of voice he has because I don't remember talking to him much whatsoever whenever I played gothic, so... Pardon me if he's gonna sound very weird. <clears throat> it's late. The collapse of the old mine brought about the downfall of the ore baron's mood. Okay, that's really weird. I'm gonna stop. 
Okay, Gomez is like a powder keg about to explode. <laughs> From Carista. Why does his name why does he sign his name for every single entry? I don't get it. <laughs> it's not like multiple people use this thing, right? I don't know, that's just weird. He thinks the new guy's to blame for the collapse of the mine. The man sure is strange, but he's better not show his face around here again. Gomez's temper is hotter than ever, and I think I can guess what he's planning. We must warn the water mages before it's too late. Maybe we could ward off a disaster. It doesn't bear thinking that, well, about what would happen if the free mine... And he never finished. And if you're wondering why he never finished, well, there was the conflict. Um, in the old camp, one of, them, one, of, one of the mines collapsed, so, um, and Gomez, who was the main, the key ore baron of the entire colony, well, mostly the old camp, because that's where he pretty much, uh, where he ruled, um, he wanted to, well, take down slash steal a mine from another camp, and the mages didn't like that, because the other mine was technically part of, um, well, it wasn't technically, but the Water Mages had certain jurisdiction over it. Well, through the mercenaries, that is. So, yeah, uh, and they had their own plan of trying to get out of the valley by blowing up the barrier with the, uh, with the magical ore. And that's what the mines are here for, for that magical ore. But yeah, now um, we've seen a little diary of Caristo. Who is dead like almost every other mage in here. Now what do we have down here? Well then we see a book stand. What are you? Okay, you're a map. You're an updated map. And wow, look at the pal not pa the palisade, sorry, the wall. Do you see it on the right side of the map? It's that long. Jesus Christ. The oryx were really hard at work, and by the way, it means we won't be able to visit what once used to be a sect camp, because it's actually beyond the wall of the orcs. And I don't really think you can actually go through it. And I think what I see are two ships in a, like, some kind of a harbor, where the swamp used to be. Or not the swamp, but the, like, the sect camp. Yeah, that really sucks so that you cannot visit it. Um, but you can visit every other single part of the map. And, oh, I see what once used to be Zardus' tower down there in the south of the map. And um, if you're wondering where the new camp was for new players, you see the snowy area to the left? Uh, that's pretty much where their camp used to be, along with the free mine. That's basically what they're called, their mine. The free mine. So, yeah. There you go. Now, we also have another book stand. What are you? Please tell me. Oh, it's a diary. It's from Milton, our friend. So he must be here, I think. Hmm, let's see. What did he wrote? I've taken the liberty of making myself more comfortable. Would have thought I would someday be the only mage in the camp. Well, I can't really say I'm glad to be back. In fact, I should be seeing about clearing out of here. This expedition just isn't having any success. The scrapers left yesterday. They took Diego with them. Wouldn't surprise me if he did a runner. He's not likely to swing a pickaxe anyhow. Well, I'll use the time to learn a bit about the art of alchemy, Milton. Well, we know one fact is that this expedition that the paladins are having is going downhill. I mean, if you haven't figured out based on the siege of works all over the camp, uh, I mean, meaning surrounding the castle, yeah, no. Oh, and look! Look who it. has returned. Our hero from the barrier. Yes, I know you, Milton. Good to see you. Good to see you, Milton. You here again? Again. After the barrier collapsed, I entered the monastery of the Magicians of Fire. But once it was clear that the paladins wanted to come here, my experience and knowledge of the place proved to be quite useful. So they decided then and there to entrust me with the holy mission of providing magical support to this expedition. Do you remember Gorn, Diego, and Lester? Well, of course I remember the boys. What are you talking about? Of course I remember the boys. Well, Gorn and Diego didn't get far. 
They were picked up by the paladins here in the valley. Lester is vanished, though. I have no idea where he's hanging around. I've met Lester. He's with Zardas now. One bit of good news, at least. Well, I have nothing pleasant to report. Yeah, I'm sorry. I read your diary. Or your report of sorts. Yeah, um... It doesn't sound very bright. So what is there to report? The paladins came here with the intention of getting the magic ore, but with the dragon attacks and the orcs, I can't imagine the paladins will march out of here with the ore. No, Bayanos. I feel the presence of something dark, something evil growing here. Something that emanates from this valley. We paid a high price for the annihilation of the sleeper. The destruction of the barrier has ruined this place as well. We can all count ourselves lucky if we survive this. Yeah, I mean, if you're talking about the darkness and everything, dragons, at least I don't remember them being a thing in the first game, so... Is that the evil you're talking about? <laughs> or is that part of the evil that's, uh, that, you're, that you mention? How much ore have you stored away so far? How much ore? Not one chest. We haven't had contact with the scrapers for some time. It wouldn't amaze me if they were all long dead, and we are being attacked by dragons and besieged by orcs. This expedition is a complete disaster. Yeah, oh, wow. Okay, so it's been a while since you came here and you don't have a single chest. Oh boy. Um, yeah, you're right. You better get out of here, <laughs> uh, Milton. You better get out of here. Where are Gorn and Diego now? Well, Gorn is sitting here in the dungeon because he resisted arrest. They assigned Diego to a troop of scrapers. Ask the paladin Parcival. He assembled the groups. Okay, I will. Well, let's go and flee Gorn. Uh, not flee, sorry, free Gorn. <laughs> let's go and free Gorn. Well, the problem in this matter is that Gorn is a convicted prisoner. But if we're lucky, Garand will agree on a deal and we can buy his freedom. Yes, maybe. Keep me in the picture. Okay, yeah, I'll see what I can do. So I have to talk to this Garand guy. Got it. What is your task here? Originally, I was supposed to assay the magic ore, but we haven't seen much of that so far. Now I'm concentrating on the study of alchemy. What is your task here? Originally, I was- Oh, sorry. Um, what is no, 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 don't press it three times. I know the third time's the charm, but not like this. Well, oh, you have honey and lab water. Well, thank you. I don't think you mind me taking everything you have. <laughs> I don't think you'll need it for now, anyway. <laughs> oh, well, a dagger and a 20-something gold coins. That's not a lot, Milton. I'll be honest, that's barely anything. Well, good luck with your al alchemy-ish things for now. Uh, well then. I've also missed these people over here, I notice. Hey, what do you want? Oh, you are sound very grumpy. Could you make a weapon for me? I don't have time for that. Tandor hands out the weapons, I just make them. And Parlov sharpens them. How's work? I forge the weapons for the Castle Knights. Since we've been here, I've been fully occupied making new weapons. And we'll need them too. We'll show these damned orcs how sharp our blades are. Hey, Parlov, make those blades nice and sharp. Orcs are damn tough creatures. Oh, he has an ore nugget, but mm, I don't think I want to do that. Hey, you. Hey, how are you? How do you think I'm doing? I spend the whole day at the grindstone sharpening blades. And yesterday, Engor shortened our rations again. If it goes on like this, we're all gonna starve, or we'll all be killed by orcs. Not a pleasant prospect. Yeah, it isn't, believe me. Who is Engor? Engor manages the provisions and shares out the rations. And they get smaller every week. Sure, you can bargain with them, but only for cold, hard cash. And you can't afford that? The most I can get for the lousy pay we collect is a couple of turnips. Hey, but that's better than nothing. You can make, like... Turnip soups, turnip salads, which are pretty yummy, by the way. What's up? That damned Angor should hand out more rations. Yeah, yeah, okay, we get it. More rations. Where can I find this Angor? 
in the night house. Just go through the open entryway next to the smithy. Oh, well, I'll do that right now, I guess. Let's talk about rations with this guy and <laughs> disappearing barrels. Interesting. Very interesting. Any people I can shut up. No. I wouldn't be okay, so I guess sure. this is uh, the night's hall. So let's see. Because it can be angry people something. I might be angry if I try to take this. Okay, yeah, you're Angor. Ah, so you're the guy who made it across the pass. Yes. Great. I'm Angor. I manage this expedition. Just don't get the idea that I give anything away for free. But if there's gold in your pockets, I'm always willing to cut a little deal. Uh, first of all, I want to see if you have ham. Show me your wares. Because if you do, I'll be glad to take it now, but you have a map. However, I think I can get it for free and- Oh my- Oh my god. You have that and you have that. Okay, I'll take- a large firestorm because that's gonna be useful and a demon and oh I totally want to take the yeah I'll take a golem too why not and he has lockpicks he has a lot of potions so if you want a potions go to this guy he'll be like super happy you know what yeah you can take this I don't think I need it or that so there you're the one who deals out the rations or so I've heard that's right why should I feed you now, too? If there's anything you want, you'll pay for it. Just like everyone else. Maybe I can help you with your work. Hmm. Sure, why not? I could use some help. So, what needs to be done? Our food supplies are low. Above all, we're almost out of meat. So, if you could get us some meat, raw or cooked, ham or sausages, that would be much appreciated. How about it? Will you help us? Sure, I have a lot of meat. Don't worry, I'll get you some meat. About two dozen chunks of meat would help me feed quite a few hungry mouths. Come back when you have the meat. I need to get back to my work now. Uh, I have the meat, dude. Here, I bought you something. Great, you brought enough meat. That'll do for a while. But don't get the idea that I'll give you anything for free now. Yeah, he won't. <laughs> uh, okay. I wonder, will he get very angry if I take this? He is not good. Good for me. Thank you for your broom. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, so we've got quite a ginormous place over here. And this is usually where people sleep. And there's a raw steel over here. And they usually get angry if, I, if you touch the doors, by the way. If you're a mercenary, that is. If you're like a fire mage or like um, a militia guy, so they're out. actually more or less okay with you. But if you're a mercenary, um, they're very wary of you. You can especially tell when you go there at night. And like you try to go to a bed, everyone just like turns around and looks at you like you're some heathen. Now, I know there's this fancy exactly place over there, and I know I need to go there. But that. first, I do want to check check out this guy, and there was, should be another one somewhere over there. So we see this guy named Geralt. So why won't they listen to me? Where did you pick that up? What are you guarding? The prisoners. And who is that? A few convicts and the mercenary Gorn. A tough guy, strong as an ox. It took four men to bring him into custody. Um, yeah, Gorn is really tough. You tell me. Can you let me into the dungeon? No, no one may enter the dungeon. That goes for everyone. For you, for Milton, and for everybody else. This isn't some tavern where you can go in and out as you please. Remember that. Can't you make an exception for me? No. Those are all just rumors. And what if I pay you gold? Hmm, no. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, so he paused at the mention of gold. Interesting, interesting. Don't you ever sleep? No, Inos himself grants me the strength never to need sleep. Some problems solve themselves. So these guys are mortal, basically. Or he's insomniac, because he's seen too many horrors with the orcish war. Let's just say he's an insomniac. 
didn't get that free. Actually, no, who knows, because this game, it does has magic, and I do have flickering chess. Nice graphical glitches with incompatible drivers, isn't that nice? Uh, okay, so we have an interesting room with this guy, Brutus, and this is the armor we've seen in the cutscene. You see it, right? And, and yes, the pauldrons are different. They're black on the original armor from the old camp, but for the militia, they're brown. So I was right too, I guess. Still, um, you see the armor's different. They're similar, but very different. So yeah, I have no idea how they, you could mistake that um, when making the cutscene. <laughs> hey. Unless they decided to change the militia armor like at the last second or something. What's your task here? My job? Training the lads. I teach them how to get muscles of steel. I also take care of the prisoners. I'm like a damn father to those bastards. But my real art is to get them to talk. And believe me, I have ways to make anyone talk. Sounds awfully nice. But those flea-infested blockheads we have currently locked up don't have much to say anyway. And they won't let me deal with that Gorn. You know, I think I do want to get your purse. <laughs> You're gonna be the exception. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's not much, but I get the XP from you. Could you train me? Sure, I can help you become stronger. But I don't give anything away for free. How much do you want? Hmm. You run around outside the castle, don't you? Here's what I suggest. My assistant, Den, made himself scarce during the last attack. What a quitter. But he didn't run for it empty-handed. He took the contents of our cash box with him. What cash box? We have this chest where we keep the stuff we have, uh, um, collected over the course of time. And that was a tidy sum. The chest contained 200 gold pieces along with some precious jewelry. If you bring me back the gold, you can keep the jewels and I'll train you. Ah, oh, you rotten piece of... Blech. Okay, so thank God I stole money from you. And by the way, even if you've never found Dense's body, you can still give him 200 gold pieces. So yeah, just FYI, you can totally do that. But I found Dense's body earlier. I kind of forgot that that's where you find him, to be honest. So, yeah. Do you know where Den was headed? As far away from here as possible. I guess he might have tried to get through the pass. Thanks, that's very helpful. Well, what can I say? I have no idea where he went. I mean, he probably went to go outside the colony, duh. There's only one way out of here, and that's practically through the pass. Well, fine, get your... You can... Actually, I don't really care for training. With Anything you. new? Everything seems quiet. No new prisoners. Nobody who needs help finding the right words. Too bad. Oh gosh, he's the saddest. Let's see. Ah, no, it is a quest. Hey. Never mind, I'll give you your gold. There. I've got something for you. Excellent. I'll train you if you like. No thanks. Torturer. Torturer. I don't like him. I hate him. Okay, so now that we've got his quest out of the way, might as well check out this place. Stop! Who are you? The question where I come from is much more important. I came across the pass, so are you going to stop me now, or can I go in? Well, I couldn't know that. Of course you're allowed in. Ah, of course I'm allowed in. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh gosh, that was such a bad impersonation. I can't do the best voice acting. I can do funny voice acting, but not the best. Well, I found your chef. Hey, hands off my pots. Nobody touches my pots, understand? I'm responsible for the food, and that means nobody else has any business here. I hope I made myself clear. Who made you a cook, of all people? That was Commander Garon. Before I became a prisoner, I used to cook in the Raging Boar. And what did they lock you up for? There was a misunderstanding between a guest, a meat cleaver, and me. Well, that sounds very lovely. <laughs> uh, at least the way he puts it is um, interesting. Anything new? If you want to learn the news, then ask the knights. 
I'm just an imprisoned cook. Yeah, okay. George just a... Honey! Can I take your honey? Okay, you don't mind. Thank you. I love you. I have my own pan, by the way. And why am I doing this? <laughs> I have enough meat, I think. Uh, oh, I have five pieces of ham. Oh, that, I had only one piece of raw meat, apparently. <laughs> so I, ha I cannot use uh, his um, book station anymore. Ah, too bad. Anything over here? I remember in the first game there used to be like weapons mounted on some of these things. So yeah. Hmm. We see a big map. And a bunch of stuff. And there is a chest. I believe if you come here at night you can actually steal from it. Or I saved. Take your paws off that. In the future, keep your paws off stuff that is no concern of yours. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll have to come at night, I guess. Because I think this is where I can get my free map. Well, there's two paladins over here. Oh, Auric! Right, it wasn't your brother dead. I was told to report that, right? What's your task? I'm a strategic officer of the king. And I currently answer to the Honorable Commander Garand. We are the last of the paladins here in the castle. All the others have left or fallen. It is now our responsibility to bring a good end to this expedition. And that we shall do. By Enos, that we shall do. I have a message for you. What is it? Your brother is dead. He got as far as the pass. My brother? Enos put me to a severe test. But he died as his servant. This news is like an arrow which pierces my heart. I shall seek new strength in prayer. How's the situation? Your appearance here is a sign of hope to us. We need you. Go talk to Garand. He will explain everything to you. Wow, things are really bad. Uh, I mean, you, we can already tell. They're terrible. How's the situation? The camp is surrounded by orcs. They've really dug themselves in. But even more alarming are the attacks by the dragons. They have destroyed the entire outer ring by now. Another dragon attack, and we'll take heavy losses. How many dragons are there? We don't know how many there are all in all, but it's more than one. But that isn't all. The whole Valley of Mines is full of evil creatures that support the dragons. Let's not kid ourselves. Without reinforcement from outside, our chances of getting out of here alive are slim. Yeah, I can tell. Everything is still quiet. But that can change quickly. Okay, I didn't ask you this question yet. Milton did mention Diego, so I guess we can ask you. Which group of scrapers did Diego go with? This convict, Diego? He's with Paladin Silvestro's group. That doesn't tell me anything. Uh, well, I guess Garant will have to tell me more. Hi. You want to speak, or shall I? I guess I shall I. Where do you come from? You aren't one of the scrapers, and you aren't one of my people. Well? I've come across the pass. Over the pass? You actually got through? By Inos. I have to ask myself why a mercenary would take all that on himself. What are you doing here? I come from Lord Hagen. He wants me to bring him proof of the presence of the dragons. And you've just come here to get it and, and disappear again? Well, that's what I had in mind. So he wants proof. He can have it. But I can't send you back to Lord Hagen without giving him information about the ore. Listen, Lord Hagen absolutely must learn what the situation is here and how much ore we've mined up to now. All right. What do you want me to do for you? I've got three units of scrapers out there, but they haven't sent me a single nugget. Visit the mining sites and report back to me how much ore they have stored. Then I'll write you a letter that you are going to take back to Lord Hagen. Oh well, I guess I have no choice. But why me, of all people? Because you know a way to get through the lines of orcs. My boys would be hopelessly lost out there. You, on the other hand, have managed to get through once already. That makes you the best man for this job. Gee, thanks. I'm not even as strong as a paladin. I'm pretty squishable by the said orcs. 
Your men at least have a chance of fighting them. Not me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this guy. He even sounds like he's full of himself, you know? Like, I'm not sure if that's like how um, he was intended to sound at all. Like, I don't know if the German version of um, this character sounds like as full of himself or like... I don't know, like... I would say he's whining, but it's like... He's definitely out there to exploit you, you know? <laughs> the situation. So, yeah. And by the way, since I'm a mercenary, I can ask him to pay me, and you know what? He will pay me. How much will you pay me for the job? I'm not used to haggling with mercenaries. Oh, well, I guess I have no choice. I'll pay you 500 gold pieces if you take care of this mission for me. Okay, good. As a mercenary, I'm able to get money, so that's good. Where can I find the mining sites? Here, take this map. It shows the two areas where the mining sites are located. If you have any more questions, ask Parcival. He can tell you all you need to know about the scrapers. Oh, well, there you go. I don't need to steal a map. I can just use his instead. Well, that's perfectly fine with me. Thank you. Um, now, I do want to verify how's the situation, and then I'll talk to you about Gorn. How's the situation? You should set out to find the mining sites. I'm desperate for news about the status of the ore production. I want you to let Gorn go. I can't let him go. He has committed many crimes and they must be atoned for. Can I pay his penalty? That might be a possibility, but certainly not a cheap one. I want 1,000 gold pieces for Gorn. That's a lot of gold. Yeah. Gorn also has much to answer for. Bring me the gold, and I'll set Gorn free. Jeez, uh, Gorn, what have you done? I mean, you can pay, but it's better to talk to Milton. And then maybe somehow to Gorn. Anyway, uh, I want to chat with these guys. Everything is still quiet. But that can change quickly. Okay, so Garan sent me, so tell me about the scrapers. What can you tell me about the Scrapers? I assembled the three groups. Marcus, Fajeth, and Silvestro are the paladins who each lead a group. Marcus's group set out in the direction of an old mine, led by an old digger named Grimes. The other two groups set out together. Jürgen, one of our scouts, has reported that they set up camp near a large tower. Oh, Jürgen! I met Jürgen, although he was in a different location altogether from the Scrapers. Uh, and also, Grimes is a familiar name. And, uh, and in the first game, you do meet um, a digger in the old mine called Grimes. So I guess he survived whatever happened in Gothic 1. That's amazing, actually. Do you know how to get to the mining sites? There's no safe way into that valley. But it seems to make sense to me not to take the direct route. Keep away from the orcs and the woods. And may Innos protect you. Yeah, the woods are infested with orcs, but you could get through them uh, with a means that we'll find out later in the episodes. Well, hey, um, what about the mining sites? I am to go to the mining sites. This isn't going to be child's play. Beware. First of all, seek out the paladins. They are leading the three groups. If you want to know more about it, speak to Parseval. I already did. Thank you. Well, goodbye then. <laughs> Let me chat with Milton and maybe I can... Well, it's also getting dark, so I'll have to sleep anyway. But let's sort out the Gorn thingy majiggy first. I don't believe the this Gorn situation. <laughs> and then it's we'll figure out what to do from there. So Milton, you're still in this room. He sometimes at some point migrates to the room um, next door. Hey, so. you! Garon wants 1,000 gold pieces for Gorn. A nice sum. I can chip in 250 gold pieces. I need more gold to buy Gorn's freedom. Getting more gold, hmm. Diego knows a lot about that, but he isn't here. Maybe Gorn has some gold hidden somewhere himself. We should find out. I'll write him a note. Here, try to smuggle it into the dungeon. Oh, and I will. I will, Milton. I'll be right back. Garand, I have a lovely note from a lovely, lovely guy who wants to tell his friend where he stashes, basically. <laughs> he 
to listen. It's all to about me. the gold, you see? <laughs> all about the gold. Of course, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You already know Jeez. what I much. Hey! Oh, not Garon, sorry. Geralt! Oh, Geralt. Geralt. Okay, so I have I a note. I have a note here for one of the prisoners. Can you pass it on? Hmm, in principle, I don't see why not. Who's this message for, for then? For Gorn. A very important prisoner. I don't think Garand would agree to that. But if it's important to you, we can certainly come to an agreement. What do you want? Our food rations are being reduced steadily. I want something decent to eat for a change. Get me a tasty sausage and a fresh loaf of bread and some sweet honey and a bottle of wine to go with it. Yeah, that should do. You should be able to manage that. So come back when you have the stuff. I think I have everything. I've got something for you. The food you wanted. Why Good. I Give me the grub. Do you have the message? Yes, here. Remember, it's, it's for Gorm. Come back tomorrow. He'll have received the message by then. Well then, let me uh, let me go sleep and then um, we'll Dude, see what the message was about. <laughs> also, uh, another thing. So upstairs, there's a certain room I want to... How do I say this? Explore because... It has a, a certain note that's useful for us. And that note is relevant to something that we'll need for Yarkandar. I say it because the guys will might get angry. Okay, the paladin has not noticed me, so that's good. Now, there's a key over here. It's a door key. We'll need it, I think. Uh, a bunch of these rooms have keys and stuff, and unfortunately, I do not remember which room it is that I need to find um, the thingy I'm looking for. Oh, one second. Okay, not left. Right. Right, left. Left, right. Right, left. Left, left, right, left. Okay, well, I found potions and arrows, so that's good. I'm just gonna run out of here. <laughs> I'll leave it open to you for you, Mr. Paladino. A knight in a shining armor. Now, I don't know which door it was, so I'm gonna try the furthest doors from here, because the closest ones might be a little too risky for us. What did you want in here, huh? Uh-oh. They totally noticed that. Oh well. Okay, maybe not that door. They don't mind this door. Oh, I think I see it already. It's on a table. A note. That isn't true. And there's also a chest that I do want to open. Okay, so let me think. Not left. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right, right. Right, left, left, right, 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 left. It's slightly similar, but different from the previous chests, come to think of it. Okay, let me just run out of here. Oh, well, let's not run out of there. They get angry. I have to sneak out of there. <sighs> yeah, I just wanted to verify that room. Um, oh well. <sighs> oh well. Let me save here instead. Okay, no one angry yet. Like, they magically hear that door, but not this one. What a BS. Oh. Right, left, left, right, 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 left. Get the stuff and then sneak out, please. Be careful about this. I'd rather save outside than inside, to be honest. Okay. Now, we did pick up a note, and I think it's the one I need. Uh, not this one. Okay, I picked up the correct one. The correct one. And this thing teaches you how to take the secretion from the blood flies' um, 
What is it called? Stinks? We have like two of those. Oh, I swear we have them. Oh, there they are. Yeah, the stinger. Now, if you read this thing, it will help you to sort of like take it out safely and consume it. And we'll need it for a quest once we go back to Yarkindar. Um, okay, so it says, The stinger of a bloodfly contains a deadly venom that no person of sane mind would ever take. Unless he knows the art of removing stinger and the following rule. The stinger is cut open tidily by running a sharp blade from the tip to the shaft. The upper skin layer is removed. The exposed tissue is cut open around the glands. The special juice of the tissue has healing properties. However, the human body grows immune to the healing potion in time. Demeric. Oh! This guy wasn't here before. Totally guarding all the places uh, I need to sneak into. And I know someone w and I know someone went to sleep in that room. Oh, Percival is going into that room. Oh well, um, I'm not gonna rob them at the moment because it's just too tedious. I just needed that specific note. And yeah, I learned it, so yay! I now I can go to sleep out. and we'll check out with, um... That's not what I heard. What's his face? Geralt! Someone okay, get up, guys! Uh. Yeah, they stare at me, they don't like me, blah blah, I get it. I'm a mercenary. Also, I don't think they usually get angry if you're like a mage or, um, uh, a militia. Some when you open the doors as well, anyone. so yeah. At least I don't remember they were ever angry at me when I was. Oh, sorry, wrong way. Uh, when I was um. I would have told you that before. Opening the doors. Okay, Carol. News. Did Gorn receive the message? Yeah, I'm supposed to tell you something from him. And it's at the south gate. Did he say anything else? No, no idea what that's supposed to mean. Do you know what it means? Perhaps, really but you shouldn't that. think about it too much. Yes, that may be better. He should have known that. <laughs> yes, that may be better. Uh, yeah, the South Gate. So the nice. South Gate, if you look at the map... Um, okay, never mind, it does not help. Well, uh, as you know, the old camp used to be bigger than just the castle, and the South Gate is what was the true South Gate of the old camp. He's much. not talking about the castle, He's, not, he's talking he about the area surrounding um, the camp. And the south gate was literally at the south, A. Eh? And if I remember, I can I should be able to point it out from here. It's near, you see, you see the path, how it goes up there? Well, if you follow the path but towards the direction of the castle, not to the left, but imagine it following directly into the castle, that's where the south gate used to be. You can even see the remains of the gate. Or rather, something that looks like a bridge, right? Yeah, that's where the south gate used to be, and there's a structure over here. With a hole. I think that, if I, rem if I remember correctly, that's where Gorn's stash is. But... I'll have to think about how to fetch it in the next episode. So thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I really hope you appreciate uh, the Let's Play or whatever is going on. I know it's a lot of killing, maybe a little too many, too much killing of creatures and stuff like that. I usually like to balance out with quests, you know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but eh, whatever. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye-bye!